today on Divorce Court. Cheating has affected our marriage in a horrible way. He's cheated and I've cheated. Some of the things that she does isn't husband and wife approved, I guess you could say. Calvin feels like I'm not being a wife because I'm not fulfilling, well, his needs as a man. Pretty much as a wife, I just feel like, you know, as far as sex, you should, you know, want to be intimate with your husband. You should want to do things with your husband. You know, you should want to do things for your husband. And I just feel like she doesn't do any of that at all. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Calvin Guy and Nicole Guy. Mr. and Mrs. Guy, you've been together for 14 years, married for eight, you have one child together, and you are in deep trouble. Mr. Guy, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about this relationship and why you're here in divorce court today? Well, uh, pretty much my wife and I, uh, Miss Nicole here, we've been together for quite some time. We've had problems, a lot of problems for uh, just her leaving, uh, totally separating herself from me for uh, anywhere from six months to a year at a time. Really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> going out and having different relationships with different guys and just coming back after things don't work out. Does she leave you for other guys or does she just happen to have relationships once she's gone? I, I've asked her that before. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's told me that it's not um, her leaving me for the other guys. She's leaving for herself, mm -hmm. but the other guys just so happen to be in a relationship with her when she leaves. Ms. Mrs. Guy, did you hear what he just said? Yes. Is that accurate? It's true. So you have relationships with men during the course of your relationship, and then you leave and you... Is that um, what's happening? No, what's going on is I will leave, we'll break up, and um, I will get in, not into these relationships. Like, I have friends. Mm -hmm. um, he calls them relationships. They're not relationships. But no. And guy not. friends with whom you have intimacy, though? One. One. Once. Yeah. One. Do you go back and forth to him when things get, get funky at home? I used to. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It's a hot mess because you admit to sleeping with at least 20 different women during the course of your marriage, correct? <laughs> <laughs> She's leaving. You know, so I, I can't get too excited about right. her leaving and having a relationship here and there because neither one of you seems to think that fidelity I'm is necessary. I'm surprised about that because I just had three girls in particular you know, in the top of my head. So when he's saying 20 girls and all this other stuff, I mean, I wouldn't put a pass to it because if some other stuff didn't happen too. When I, when, you know, when I, when I read your materials, I, I, I got stressed. And I, it, the first thing that stressed me out was your issues with his controlling behavior. You say, like, he locked you in a room and you were fighting from 9 p.m. to 6, 6 a.m. and you were fighting so much that he, he was late for work and got fired. I mean, does that kind of thing happen? Because to me, that's, that's frightening. It is. Honestly, it is. And no, he didn't get fired, but um, he seen, I guess, he would go through my phone when I'm sleeping and wake me up in the middle of the night. It will be like, you know, uh, that night I happened to went to bed at 9 p.m. or whatever, uh -huh. and he woke me up, and then he was just like questioning me about this one guy in particular. I'm like, you know, we just having a, a phone conversation. That's my friend. And uh, he's just like, you know what, I seen it kind of getting heated. And he's like, well, just talk to me. I'm like, I'm talking to you. But I feel like he's just so controlling. He doesn't want to hear what I have to say. So I'm trying to leave. Mm -hmm. And he's like blocking the door. Like, because it, it gets crazy, you know. That kind of like make my heart pound because I'm like, uh, you know, what is he thinking? He's getting so angry. His eyes turning red. So. Let me just let him cool down mm -hmm. and let me walk gotcha. away. He doesn't let me walk away. Yeah. You also say, I just want to get all this out there because I'm stressed about it. I just want all of these things that are bothering me out there. He said he, you, he flushed your anxiety medicine down the toilet so you couldn't leave the house. If you're dealing with this individual he doesn't like, he calls you retarded and stupid. He gets mad when the house isn't clean. He I'm takes the only half one that your cleans? check. I yes. mean, Mr. Guy, it, it, <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Should I be... Am I concerned for no reason? Yes, ma'am. Pretty much <laughs> in the past, I used to be the things that she says I am, controlling and everything else. We got married when we were, uh, what, 18 and 19. Mm -hmm. I was in the military and I was still trying to figure out life just right. like she was. 
the cheating that I did in the beginning was all when I was younger. Right. Uh, hers, it just kept coming. I mean, <laughs> even even just a week ago. <laughs> just a week ago? Even just a week ago is when I found out um, about her and, and, you know, being on the dating site, her talking to different people over Facebook, her finding these guys and talking to them and then talking down, you know, about me to these people that I don't even know. Is he accurate that the women that he cheated with, that's all in the past when early on in your relationship? No, it's not in our younger days. That was more so recently. And he's been kind of having conversations with the girls he didn't slept with and one of the girls in particular. Now she goes to our church and, you know, he's just like talking to her in front of me. Like, that's disrespectful. Like, oh, you know, uh, just forget about that whole thing. He just you want me to, to take it so lightly. Church. Pretty much the, the young lady that she's referring to that goes to the church. No, I do not talk to that young lady. She did call <laughs> she me did. once before and she talked, she tried to talk to me about her relationship issues. I you went to my wife night, and I was told crying. her. She called you and crying about her relationship. She, like he does this to make an excuse to go talk to these people. Oh, see, I'm not doing anything. I can talk to them in front of you and all this other stuff. No, I know you're going behind my back and talking to these like women. I just feel like I have nothing to hide, Your Honor. I gotcha. He's I slick. gotcha. He I'm still scared. Don't know why, but I'm still frightened. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to talk. I understand also that your families get involved, and that's problematic as well. So I want to talk about that. The young lady and, and my wife, from what I'm understanding from her, they wanted to do some type of swinging thing to where she had her guy and the other girl had me. They, I, I knew the swinging thing was, was going on in her mind because of she actually allowed me to have sex with her friend in front of her. Okay. Did you do that? Like I said, your extended extended family team seems, seems to be a problem. But before we get to that, I think I want to put put a button on the cheating stuff. I understand. In addition to this other church woman, that you had a woman in Bible study who you were sleeping with. Is this true? <laughs> the young lady and, and my wife, from what I'm understanding from her, she they wanted to do some type of swinging thing to where she had her guy and the other girl had me. Who are you talking about? I totally 100% said no on the whole thing. No, because I don't want to see my wife with some other bro some other guy. <laughs> then the young lady came over to my house and she invited my wife and I over for uh, dinner. My wife declined and then sent me. I didn't send and you that had sex with her. Not the not that night. I mean, we went over there and we talked. <laughs> oh, I'm playing Bible study. We, we went over there, we talked. The young lady was trying to change her life. I was like, yeah, I need to get on the same path. We were having Bible study for a little while. Okay, walk I even like invited a duck, my talk sister, like a duck, a invited my wife here. Y'all were having Bible study and you ended up having sex yes. with her? Yes, ma'am. Come on now. But, but you know what? That's not, that's not it, though. I mean, she didn't say anything at first. The, I, I knew the swinging thing was, was going on in her mind because of she actually allowed me to have sex with her friend in front of her. Okay. Did you do that? I don't remember, but she came over one night, we was drinking, and they were already flirting with each other. Like, she, he already wanted her. He already told me, basically, he wanted to have sex with her. Like, Your Honor. they were so looking at each other. Okay? I just said, go ahead. Like, she, you know, she tried to get me involved, and, you know, they were, you know, they started off kissing or whatever like that, so, I don't know, like, he You're... tried to pull my hand in, and I was just like, you know, I just didn't... You, just you didn't... weren't into it. I wasn't into it. Your Honor. Yeah? Now, that's not what happened at all. Yes, it is. Yes, I it never, is. I didn't want to be too intimate. So I was kissing on my wife at the time while she was allowing me to do whatever to you her You was friend. more into her oh than you was. Oh, my God. So, he was more into I, her you, than you, he you, was. You, a... I... <laughs> I just couldn't get turned on by the friend knowing that my wife was there and, you know, But you managed it. Knows. Yeah, he did. He wanted to. <laughs> he wanted to. I don't even know how this stuff jumps off. I don't know how. I just, They were already giving know... each other that eye. Like, they wanted each other. So, so I'm like, go ahead. Like, you know. But what? I mean... I just, because of, it, it was, to me, I felt like he giving me no choice because every time she come around, it was always compliment that, compliment this. And then when I would try. he giving you no choice? He didn't give what? me no choice. Like, he was already on her, like, more than he was on me. So I was just like, you know, we was drinking that night. Oh, my God. I've, I've never. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm, give I'm... me a minute. Just, no, just, just give me a minute. 
I'm gonna get myself together, then I'm gonna ask you a question. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna figure out something. I, I seen text messages to where she was telling people, oh yeah, I'm gonna have the car tomorrow. I'm gonna come by and see you tomorrow. It's where she's going and it's the fact that she's distracted. That's all she does. When she's even driving, when she's driving? Even while she's driving. Are you using social media while you're driving? How would you react if your spouse wanted a threesome? Tell us what you think at facebook.com slash divorce court. Divorce court will be right back. I'm gonna ask you about your extended family. You say that you bump heads with her family. Tell me about that. Her family members, we used to not get along mm. uh, in the beginning, but it was only because of she would go to them and in the midst of her cheating, I'll get upset, of course. It, I'm a husband with the wife who's cheating on me actively. I find out about it, you know, she'll go and tell her family members I'm crazy, I, I go off for no reason, uh, she's not doing anything wrong. And then they'll look at me like, oh no, he's a psycho. Mm -hmm. he, he's gonna come around and chop all of us up because of, that's what Nicole said. <laughs> he's showing them that though. Like, you know, the first time I left him, um, when we, our first, for our first apartment or whatever, um, he just got crazy, like, oh, yeah, you wasn't there for them, uh, for her and all this other stuff. And they were like, well, we're here now. So, but he was just, like, going off and throwing my stuff all over the ground and just... Are you a loud and boisterous, angry person when you get up? I mean, not that you haven't had cause. I mean, clearly oh, she'd yeah. been cheating on you, and I know that's very upsetting. But in general, are you a, a, an angry and rageful person? Not anymore. I used to be. Uh, I actually attended a bunch of counseling and everything else about five or six years ago now. To get it together? Yes, ma'am. Because of I wanted my family back together. So I wanted to Has he improved? Not with the controlling. Like, it's, it, it, it would be Give me an example of when he's controlling. Uh, like his car. Like, Tell me about um, that. He doesn't really lets me drive his car like that. Like, and when he does, he tells me where he, like, okay, I drop him off at work or whatever, and then if I want to make a detour and go to my auntie's house, then it's a problem, it's an argument. Like, I don't like that. Like, he wants me to come straight home. Your yeah. response to that? Your Honor, I actually submitted uh, evidence of a vehicle that she... Uh, do I is, have it? I, I, must, I, I think I I don't know, did it, you... That's not okay, I sent it in. Okay, what's this, the... this right here is what she did to one of the vehicles that I had. Now, we only, <laughs> we only had one vehicle. We still only have one vehicle. Mm -hmm. I just bought a new one. But anybody could have an accident. I just bought a new one, she, see? This right here is the reason why she was on her phone and went around the corner from her auntie's house, from the apartment complex, and scraped up the whole side of the vehicle. And her excuse for it was, oh, I, I didn't see the wall there. <laughs> How do you not see a whole apartment complex wall? It was narrow. The wall is kind of hard to turn. I'm not a, he knows that I doesn't really? park very good. I'm a good driver, but when it comes to parking or trying to, you know... Your Honor, she, she's tried to <laughs> face... But, 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 but she knee. had one act. I mean, you know one, what I mean? I drove into the, the garage reason. three times. <laughs> it's just, I mean, it can happen. Why... He thinks I'm gonna go cheat. That's why he calls off from work. And that's why he gets Why would the fact that she had an accident preclude you from allowing her to have the car? I it's, don't understand that. It's that. It's the fact that I even seen text messages. I, I got to the point to where I did, just didn't want it to happen anymore. I, I seen text messages to where she was telling people, oh, yeah, I'm going to have the car tomorrow. I'm going to come by and see you tomorrow. Oh, you can meet up with so me So it's tomorrow. not about her uh, capacity to drive. It's, it's about where she's going. It's that. It's where she's going, and it's the fact that she's distracted. That's all she does. When she's even driving, when she's driving? Even while she's driving. Are you using social media while you're driving? How am I on Facebook when I have to take care of my eight-year-old daughter and my people mother? People do it all the time. I drive behind people <laughs> I take who, breaks. Who, 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 yeah, da, 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 da. Are you one of them? No, I take breaks. Like, I, I'm not on social media or on Facebook, like he says. Are you texting and driving? No. 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 <laughs> I'm not. Like, I'm not. Your Honor, I've, I've got text messages or FaceTime. And he has bad road rage, so Fa he's saying I'm texting and driving. No, he has bad road rage. And I'm, I keep telling him, Do you him, have like, road rage? No, ma'am. I'm a tow truck driver. I'll say things inside of the vehicle, but I'm not one of those individuals that... Get out and out do something window. about it. Yeah, I don't okay. do that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we need to have a conversation. And we will. 
What would you do if your partner shared your problems with their family? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. I'm not at all sure I know what's going on. <laughs> I will say this, though. If you guys don't put a period on what you're doing, you get to get a period on your cheating and a period on her cheating and whatever happened in the past and the family members that you don't get along with and make a decision to re-engage your marriage on an entirely different level, there's no point in staying married. You guys don't seem to honor the vows at all. I think you run off when things get difficult. I think you are a bit controlling. You won't want to admit it. And you think that somehow it stabilized the marriage to make sure what she's doing. You have reasons to be jealous. You have reasons to be jealous. I just don't think you guys ever engaged in this marriage uh, as a marriage. I think you got together. I think you said the words. And then you did whatever the hell you felt like. And then, when it didn't work out, you, you go from one problem to another, one dramatic situation to another. There were never a set of rules. There were never a set of do's and don'ts. We can't do this. Friend comes over, he looked like he wanted her, so I told her I had sex with her. What is that? <laughs> None of that makes any sense. It's all about satisfying immediate needs and wants immediately feeling better, leaving the house when you're angry, you know, having sex with all the 20, you know, women throwing out, oh, well, I'll just do it. You gotta be grown, you gotta have rules, you gotta say, these are things I won't do because I'm married. These are things I won't say, these are things, you know, you gotta honor and respect her need to be her own individual person. You can't be controlling with it because that makes her feel like nothing and you, and, and, and you can't just walk off and go out with another guy and expect him to be okay with it. I told him we were friends. We were just gonna be roommates. It, it does, you know, your, all of your stuff is so jacked up that it doesn't even matter when every once in a while you come out and do something correct, the other person's not gonna believe it because your stuff has been jacked up for so long. True. So you can't just pick through, well, this particular time I wasn't doing the wrong thing. It doesn't matter. There's no trust there. There's no rules. There's no prohibitions. It's a, it's a free for all. You know what I mean? And you got kids, right? Yeah, yes, daughter. Oh go. my God. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. If I were you, I would start anew. Mm -hmm. I would go to counseling and I would start anew. Everybody has to say, we forgive each other for all that we've done. And we're going to decide to do differently and then have a marriage counselor sit down with you and put some rules together about how you're gonna run this marriage. And remember, whatever you do to one another is done in front of your daughter. If you don't want your daughter to live the disaster that you are currently living, you've got to step up your game. And if you can't step up your game and live together in a more sane and reasonable way, decide to part and be more, uh, and be good co-parents. But you gotta look at everything, not how do I feel and what's gonna make me feel better right now, is but what do I wanna teach my daughter? Right. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Good luck to the both of you, this matters a dream. The judge was very concerned about me and my husband's marriage, and I just feel like if he can control his controlling, problem, then we'll be okay. I mean, I feel like, yeah, I did some wrong things. I've, you know, cheated in the past or whatever, but I'm not that same person like I was back then. I've made a lot of changes and I just, you know, hope we can continue to change together.